Hello. Feels. Oh, hello, I'm, uh, I'm quite loaded on stuff. Let's fuel up properly. So we can go hang out. In my goddamn college. Who's trying to be a pain in the butt? Alright. Let me jump on. And move over. What do you mean just in time and you been lost here? Oh, you're a good man. A good man. What? Ask for help, huh? Mercy. There you go. There's your help. Stinking mean. It was a little bit of a steep landing, but we here. Alright. Let's see what this wild Dutchman, Vandalin, is going to say to us. Well, at least you ain't run off. Hey there. What How you would I do Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards, Arthur. Cowards. Of all the time we spend to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe ain't we no can freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning, we take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. And I've always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. <laughs> We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but you know, the women and the children. And John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best. I will see to it. Huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I smell some trickery from Dutch. Okay, let's pick. 
pick up the pace. Train is due in San Denis in an hour. We're robbing a train in the middle of a city? No. It's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let all some boys head home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the okay. money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a uh. short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. All right, well, John, just tell me what to do. I don't... Back up outside of San I'll go with them. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hit All right. The wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap they... of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Where are we going? Where is the... Oh, it's over there. It should be just through these trees. There it is. Yeah, I can see it. I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay. It's in the back. Alright. Okay. guy. Yeah, I got to do in the mood. Got it. All right. Let's get this done. Mount up, Arthur. So listen. Yeah. Abigail just told me. The money? It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Okay. Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this is still mean something. Yeah. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. Yep. One last train, Arthur. One, One last, last train. train. Smoking some guys, huh? There you are. Got everything? Yeah. Then off we go. Off we go, indeed. One last time, gentlemen. I got us a river boat. We'll head up to New York or Chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics. So long as it isn't Guarma. Oh, it'll be paradise, son. All coming together, Dutch, uh, just like we planned. Be. That okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice yeah, you sure? Through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? We shut up, Mackie. That's enough. Quiet, all of you. All right. So, who's gonna jump in this first? I feel like this can't be so smooth. Hmm. 
I still smell troubles, but I don't know where they're coming. Okay. All right. Cleet, Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well, everybody mount up! We're still going through with this? Of course we are! <laughs> oh my lord. Come on, Arthur! We gotta get on that train! I'm going. Gosh, down this train's quick. Arthur, come on! On it. You okay? Yeah. Money's in the front carriage. We gotta push forward quick before we go. that can vegetable why not there you go that's the face so much shaking on here you feel like kitchen costa keep pushing forward uh. Boy, there's a ton of them. Bam. Bam. Shut up, bitch. What are you doing, guy? Oh, no. Boy. Ah, now you're helping, huh? Get going, Bill. All right, let's get back on there. Get back on, Joe. I am back on you, dumbass.
No, John. Winding the both, eh? God, he's in pieces. Okay, get off the gun. We need to go for the money. Okay. Let's go Come get on. the money. The money should be in the front carriage. Thing. Okay, stand back. Oh no. John. I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on. Let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Be angry. We are good old angry Arthur. Jack, we hit, but they took Abigail. Who did? Agent 
Milton and his men took it to Van Horn to be put on a boat and tried for murder. I am sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. So what is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Yeah! God damn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me! Yeah! Oh, boy. If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. In a boat? So I reckon we should go in the other way. Yeah. Sure, I guess. I don't know. Goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. Hope we do. Now he don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Like it was always a lie. We went crazy. Yes. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sorry you got dragged Dutch. into this. In a, us. Listen. He if really you changed. hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. Huh? And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. Give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Amy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> and Eagle Flies, another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, yeah, all of my friends are dying. Because of the rec right. recklessness. Me and you together. What's left of it. Now come on. Goodbye. Oh Here we are. Stitch Where the we are. horses and come up with a plan. Stitch the oh, there's the boat. Okay. The part of my horse over here. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get. Oh, boy. 
I'm going to give you the best cover you ever had. Maybe this way. <laughs> Take some minute to get in here. Okay, Mr. Milton. Where are you? There you are, you bastard. Okay, Sadie. Got him. Got him. Got him. Wait, what? Oh, my lord. I went too far. All right. Retry. shooting God damn it Yeah, good. Got all of them. Shit. God damn it. Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. <laughs> Go, go sleep. Okay, a cookie.
Do you? Where are you then? Sleep, you goddamn Pikachu. Oh, where are you? What the hell? dead sure but I'm gonna be just fine we offered you a deal mr. Morgan should have taken it I'm a fool mr. Milton not all you boys have quite so many scruples old Micah Bell Micah. you mean Molly Molly O'Shea sweated her a couple of times never talked a word had to let her go Micah Bell we picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Oh, my guy is the strongest threat. Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. Horrible man. Now come on, both of you. All right. Find the horses. We need to get there. This was uh, eventful. Got him. Hey, 
go, and it's easy. You see any more of them? No. Wait a second. Wait, they were. That's right. Jack and Tilly are fine. Ladies. Hey, I'm fine. Hold up a moment. Arthur, there's no time. There's time. What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't know. Arthur. He. What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Listen. No. We got Jack. He's safe. Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two, not now. You both know. <laughs> You're good women, good people, the best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That she was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Feels quite sad to be honest. Hopefully, we are gonna die right now. A lot of lives, yeah. Maybe it's a sign, Arthur. Try. Try to 
That's what I'm aiming to do. Do the good thing now. Alright. Back at the camp. Get them bags packed up Ooh. quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on! All of you! Well, we're doing our best. Hurry! We ain't got long. Hurry! We just got plenty of time, Micah. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Micah was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. <laughs> Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy, I didn't have a choice. You did have John, a choice, you bastard. You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! All of you? Pick your side now, because this is over. Oh, them years, Dutch. For this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, Mr. Bell. And put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming. Fast. <laughs> now! <laughs> Who amongst you... <laughs> Is with me! And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! <clears throat> You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone cut down! This is it! Let's keep 
Those bastards left me for dead. Seems that's what they. Let's carry one of those. Keep going. Okay, where are we going? Yep. Stop where you are and put your guns on the ground. Someone kill this bastard. Come on, John. You can do it. Arthur, you go up first. All right. Safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Oh boy. Come on, ride. I'm I'm ready for them. I'm trying to. Oh, no. dead in five minutes I got a family that's more important uh, maybe you're right but <clears throat> you want the money you head down I gotta go to my family <sighs> Arthur just make the call uh. I'm coming with you I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing I do thank you ah oh, shit let's go we need to find higher ground. Don't worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell out of here. Hey, I'm trying to. Not care about him that much. Pushing. Let's 
boy. All right, Arthur, come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. God damn you, bastards! Go, sleep, bastards. Where do I go? What the hell is this guy doing? Go punch him. Grab a rock and punch him in the rock. Come 
Come on. Oh, Black Lung! You ain't gonna reach that gun! You ain't! You lost, my sick friend! You lost! Yep. Despite my best efforts to the country. Come on. You can do it. Come on. And get him. Oh, my stupid Dutch. Now. What is it? It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. <laughs> we won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us. No. But I tried. In the end, I did. Come on, let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. 
Maybe we should just go on to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. Whoa, what are we doing? Bad influence on your mother, boy. We're playing as John now. Sorry, sir. Are we actually dead? What was that? Please, no. That would be sad. Which books? Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever. Men from the Moon? I'll do my best to find better reading material. Is that what you like then? Western tales? Be careful, alright? I'm careful. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore? I know. You know, about nights. Damn it, John, would you slow down? Slow down. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. Oh. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. <laughs> All right. What was that you were saying? Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? Why don't you pull up just here? All right. I'm going to go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Sounds for laundry work, okay. Hello guys, how's it going? Ooh, help wanted. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah. My wife and I, and our boy, we was robbed a few mm. days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Oh, that was quite easy. Hello. All right. Abigail! Hey! I got some work! Thank you, Doctor. Hey! <laughs> How you getting on? I found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living! It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> All 
All right, let's go and deliver the goods. Yep. Good. Thank you very much. Don't worry, we're not damaged. Oh, man. Yeah. Come on, horse. Do 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 the delivering goods. Old school career service. Ah, I don't have a gun. All right. I have a weird feeling. Yep. Heading north. I lost one back. Gosh darn it. Hopefully they will not notice that. Oop. Looks hard, huh, Gosh damn it, where are we trying to take me? Oh, far, oh, okay. Bim bam 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 Delivering goods. Very well. We lost two packages already. Oh, there's a big house. This must be it. Oh, it's a big old place. Sorry about the fence. Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife. We was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, 
When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine uh, scotch okay. whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. It's my trailer. Take that horse if you need it. And don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. No, oh, they will get hurt. They will definitely get hurt. Stealing my wagon. You ain't getting away with that. Come on, you stupid thing. What the hell? Come on, you stupid horse. Can you catch us, failer? Try oh, hello. <laughs> what do you want me to do now? What the hell? game huh Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Oh. Would you look at that? Mm. 
And would you look at that, what a wonderful morning on the end of the episode. This one is very long, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments if you did. I'm sad we died. We dead. We no, we no longer, we no longer alive. Arthur is gone. Nobody knows where he's been buried. But we will crack on in the next one. So I hope you guys are see you there. Let me know if you like it. Leave a comment. And as always, this episode has been read.